go to Afton. So I'm going to give a very brief introduction to HKU Space Center for Cyber Learning and also the new e-learning system. Uh, this is an organizational structure of Center for Cyber Learning at HKU Space. The head, Professor Wong, advisor, Professor Young, he is my boss, that is why I feel nervous here. <laughs> and also, at the Center for Cyber Learning, there are three teams. The first team actually is IT, that's the e-learning system and the platform. Last team is ID, instructional design, research and evaluation. Actually, we have two full-time instructional designers here, full-time. One is from USA, one from UK, OU UK. And uh, also, multimedia design and production. Three teams work together. And the major tasks of Center for Cyber Learning, there are four major tasks. The first one is e-learning system and the platform development. Second one is e-course design and development. The third one, e-learning staff training. The last one is e-learning consultants services. We provide external consultants services. For example, the first project is that we develop e-learning platform for Beijing Open University, which is a large e-learning university with over 100,000 e-learning students. So don't worry about e-learning, how many students you can accommodate. Actually, that platform, they suppose they are going to have a few million students in two years. Okay, HKU Space new platform, I just gave, I just going very quickly to give you overall picture about e-learning platform functions. So there are over 50 functions on the six categories of HKU Space new e-learning platforms, which are course content, communication and collaboration, assignment and assessment, administration and management. Also, two new categories, learning functions, evaluation functions. Actually, we, we are finished the development by the end of this month. We also need a few months for testing. On the course content, like e-syllabus, course materials, audio-video lectures, like video programs, streaming courseware, links to supplemental materials, course website search engine. Communication and collaboration functions, like e-discussion forum, virtual classroom, e-working groups, file sharing, email, blog Facebook, online chat, ERSS student homepage whiteboard. Assignment and assessment like e-timetable for assignments and exams, student self-assessment, automatic grading, submit and receive assignments. Okay, this is category of administration and management, like calendar, registration, announcements, course content management, self-assessment management grading, management, statistics of teaching. This is the learning functions like e-note making, reading points highlighting, e-tag, mind map, e-learning portfolios. And the evaluation functions, that's for quality assurance of e-learning. E-tracking of teaching activities and the learning activities, observe teaching and the learning process evaluation from teachers and the peers, feedback area on the course website, survey on students' learning experience, survey on teaching experience. So overall, we have uh, over 50 features and functions on the new platform. As a teacher, you don't need worry. The advantage of, of this platform is flexible. That is object-oriented, which means if you are a teacher, you can choose all 50 features, or you just choose three. Some teachers, they said, we only need one function. One function is just a port course materials video program. Another one is the e-discussion forum, and also just submit assignments. You can choose three. 
So anytime, you can choose uh, just like checklist. If you want five, you select five. If you like two, you can select two. That is advantage of the flexibility of this e-learning platform. Okay, I finished. Uh, uh, my colleague will uh, show you about three different kinds of e-learning courses because three totally different areas. One is Japanese language, another is nursing, and also accounting, please. Thank you.